Today we're going to be talking about interracial couples who've made history. Nowadays we take interracial relationships for granted. For many people, the idea that two consenting human beings of different races could fall in love and even marry just seems like the most natural and normal thing in the world. But within living memory, there was a time when interracial relationships were not just considered taboo, they were actually illegal. Interracial marriage was illegal in some US states until as late as 1965 and apartheid in South Africa only ended in 1994. Let's take a look now at five interracial couples who made history. In 1958, Mildred and Richard Loving were woken in the middle of the night while they slept peacefully in their bed and arrested by the police of Virginia. Their crime? This mixed race woman and her white husband had violated Virginia's Racial Integrity Act of 1924, which criminalized relationships between white people and people of color. The couple fled the state and spent five years in exile with their three children. Mildred wrote a letter to Robert Kennedy and eventually their case went to the Supreme Court which ruled in favour of the couple, stating that the right to marry was a vital personal right. This historic ruling led to similar laws being disbanded across several states, effectively ending segregationist era America. In 2016, their story was depicted in the Academy Award winning film, Loving. Soretse Kama was at one time the heir to the throne of the Bechuanaland Protectorate, known as modern-day Botswana. He came to Britain in 1944 to study law at Oxford University, during which time he met Ruth Williams, an English clerk, and the couple got married. The repercussions were severe. Soretse was forced to renounce his chieftainship, and the British government exiled him from his native Bechuanaland. The couple spent five years in exile, eventually returning to Africa in 1956. Soretse founded the Bechuanaland Democratic Party and he eventually became Prime Minister. When Botswana gained its independence from the British in 1966, Soretse became the President and Ruth the First Lady of Botswana. Their story was brought to the big screen in the 2016 film A United Kingdom. You've almost certainly heard the life story of the incredible abolitionist, writer and civil rights leader Frederick Douglass, but have you heard of his wife, Helen Pitts? The pair began working together in 1881 when Frederick hired Helen as a clerk in his office. The following year, his wife, Anne Murray Douglas, passed away and in 1884, Helen and Frederick were wed. Their marriage was met with widespread condemnation, including from the couple's own families. Helen said of the marriage, Love came to me and I was not afraid to marry the man I loved because of his colour. Frederick is quoted as saying, This proves I'm impartial. My first wife was the colour of my mother and the second the colour of my father. The couple remained married until Frederick's death, after which Helen, to the dismay of Frederick's children, converted his property into the Frederick Douglass Memorial and Historical Association, a museum dedicated to honouring and preserving his legacy. The foundation remains to this day. Joseph-Philippe Laroche was born in 1889 to a prominent Haitian family and came to France when he was 15 to study engineering. Several years later, he met Juliette Lafarge, the daughter of a local wine cellar, and eventually the couple married. Despite being well-educated, racist attitudes in France meant that Joseph was unable to find employment and the couple decided to relocate to Haiti. The couple were supposed to be travelling on a French liner ship, but traded their tickets to travel on board the ill-fated Titanic, which set sail in 1912. The couple received racist treatment from both the ship's passengers and crew. When the Titanic struck an iceberg, Joseph managed to get his pregnant wife and their children into a lifeboat. He wrapped his coat around her and promised they would see each other again in New York, but like so many others on board the Titanic, Joseph did not survive the night. In 2018, the world watched in awe as Prince Harry married his African-American fiance, actress Meghan Markle. Meghan became the first confirmed person of African descent to marry into the British royal family, a moment many hailed as a new era for race relations and the British monarchy. 
The couple currently have one son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, who was seventh in line to the British throne. Sadly, in 2020, the couple announced their decision to step back from their roles as senior members of the royal family and relocate to North America in a decision colloquially known as Mexit. Speculated reasons for their departure included internal divisions in the royal family, as well as the hostile treatment the couple received from the British press, which many felt had racist undertones. Nevertheless, the couple continued to do their philanthropic work, this time on their own terms. And there we have five interracial couples who've made history. For more great content, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel and find me on Instagram at Freedom Is Mine Official. I'll see you in the next video. Freedom is